welcome to the Industry Angel Podcast. We hear from the best business minds across the globe, entrepreneurs, social influencers, marketing mavens, and sales rock stars. We've got them all. Here comes your weekly dose of inspiration with your host, Ian Farah. Welcome to episode 209 of the Industry Angel So great for you to join us once again, and you're going to love today's guest. She's such a wonderful, wonderful woman, a very humble person that inspires me daily with Facebook friends and her reader social posts. Her positive attitude is infectious. She is such a huge advocate for the organ donor register and has achieved so much with her time traveling and competing across the world with Team GB. A huge shout out to Kaylee's mother, Carol, also, who speaks so eloquently and passionately about her family's journey. So as part of the International Women's Day celebration we had, let's hear from Kaylee Davidson Ollie. Hi, Kaylee. Hi. Lovely of you to join us. Thank you for having me. No worries. Hey, I tell you, when I read your bio, you just... It just scares me how much you've done in such a short time. You know, the World Transplant Games, I, I want to hear all about that because I'm excited. I love I love fitness and running and athletics and stuff like that. Tell me a little bit about that journey. So I, I started off with the British Transplant Games in 1989 with just throwing the welly. And then I progressed from throwing the welly to obstacle race it was a number of sports right right through the british transplant games and then i succeeded to the european transplant games which was again in europe and that's when i started to get an interest in athletics and then in 2011 i started with gates at harriers and i competed for gates at harriers for about three years and then I, I've been to five World Transplant Games, which was France in 2003, Canada in 2007, Thailand in 2009, Miss Australia, but went to Sweden in 2011. And then I succeeded in my gold medal and became world champion in the 4 by one with one minute, zero three seconds, and became a gold medal with three of my best friends in the 4 by one team relay. And it was phenomenal. It was just amazing. (laughs) And I would do it again in a heartbeat. And since then, I've just achieved every year and trying to succeed and try to learn and try to grasp everything that I can do and promote organ donation. Wow. Mic drop, my friend. So, you know, the very first thing we said, then you said you would go back without missing a heartbeat. Well, you are the UK's first heart transplant baby, weren't you? Yes. To be honest, back in the day, I didn't really think I made a difference by being the person I am and who I've become. But throughout the years, the penny is finally starting to drop. (laughs) And I'm starting to feel that little bit more of presence, really, in organ donation. And I am the key person who gets a wide range of media publicity to promote organ donation and to talk about your wishes and your conversation and that please become an organ donation because without my donor's family's wishes and their consent, I wouldn't be here talking to you today and your audience. You know, you said the penny had dropped. But did the penny not drop, Kaylee, when you had a star on the quayside? <laughs> In the pavement, no, you know, really. I, I take my kids along the, the quayside. We, we walk across the Millennium Bridge from the Baltic and we walk up and we head up Grey Street and we go for a nice meal. As we walk along, I always stop and say, that's my friend Star there. And my daughter goes, wow, you know, that's so cool. So, you know, did the penny not drop then, Kaylee? How awesome you are. <laughs> it did and it didn't. I didn't realise the impact that I have by having that star there. So having, you know, it's not every day you meet someone who has a star on the Newcastle Walk of Fame. And it's right in the middle of Newcastle and perfect place for it to be. And I'm very touched for your daughter to say that. So it's just amazing. And I think the significance of it, my dad and my parents just like, Kelly, like wake up, that's gonna be there when you're not gonna be there. 
and it's got to be forever in that place. And every now and again, I do have a bit of a joke with family members and all my friends saying, make sure you take a, a bottle of polish with you and give it a good, <laughs> you know, just make sure it's that it's still there. So yeah, but the penny is dropping and it, it's just a, a huge importance to talk about organ donation. I promise to give it a once over some brass or next time I'm there and I'll, and I'll send you a picture. You say that every time, Ian, and you're still, <laughs> still waiting. I will. I promise I will. I'm, I'm, I'm accountable now. It's out there. Okay? I want pictures. <laughs> So, the lot. <laughs> let, let's talk about organ donation. So we've got comments coming in there. Okay, it is really important to talk about it. I know you and your mum do this where, you you, you know, you, you've been along with the, the Charlie and Carter Ball where we first met and it was a really inspiring talk that you and your mum gave, you know, a, about your journey. In, in terms of someone's why, you know, you, you've gone through the World Transplant Games, you've been super successful. Is now your why, Kaylee, to, to share and to and to bang the drum about how important organ donation is? And and if so, how do you do that? What's your platform? I think you need to you have that discussion, you talk about your wishes and you clarify what you definitely want and you know, give a legacy, live life to the full. It's about what you give out in life. You know, when when we first met and we went to the went to the ball and the Charlie and Carter Foundation helps children and families with you know life limiting diseases. It's it's really important to to bring on people to inspire and to show that actually sometimes we're in a bit of a bubble, Kaylee, where like you know we might go to work, we might come home, we might see our family, but we don't realise that there's other people out there who need our help. So is, is this something that you that you do now? Do you shout about this quite a lot? Do you promote this? With publicity yes i'm in a unique position and i like to shout it out from the rooftop so to speak and share my story share other patient stories as well and children's mm. and you know when i started in 1989 um even though i was starting off with throwing the welly and winning a gold medal because i was the only child in it but on the other hand the to share the unique position of being the first baby in the uk to have a heart transplant that it is successful that it can be done and to have that conversation. And a lot of people say, well, it's not going to happen to me. Well, it happened to me. And because of the decision that was taken by my donor's family, I'm here to prove that to you, that it does work and it is successful. And, you know, and you can ask me anything with regards to organ donation. And with nine times out of 10, I will have that answer. Or my mum will, or Lynn Hart will, who's my transplant coordinators. They're my inspirations and who I truly admire and who I look up to, along with all my medical teams who has looked after me for the last 33 years. You, you talked there, clearly about your, your medical team and you mentioned a coordinator, which I, I didn't even think that was a thing. So do you keep in constant contact? I mean, I, I know I, I know you've been for, you, you go for regular checkups and stuff like that. Is that, is that yes. the process that you just keep an eye on you? Yes. So yeah. basically I have I have my uh, heart surgeon, which is Christopher McGregor, and let my transplant coordinators, which is Lynn Holt and Pam Yannis. They are like family to me. We are in regular contact. We post each other and email and so on and so forth. Who come to my parties, you know, they're more family to me than just my friends or professionals. They are my world. And without them, I wouldn't be here. So that's who I truly admire and who I really look up to. And my parents as well, who keep me on, keep me on my toes. <laughs> and vice versa. So to speak. And they're just you like, keep, you yeah, keep them on their toes. Start again. Pardon? <laughs> You keep them on their toes, Kaylee. I know you do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think me and my mum kind of like bounce off each other and we work as a team. And again, without her, I wouldn't be the person I am today. So I truly, hats off to her really for bringing out, bringing me up and being the best person who I can be, to be honest. Yeah, and your mum speaks so wonderfully and passionately and very articulately when she talks about about the journey. And, and the heart transplant, Kaylee, was done in the northeast, wasn't it? Yes. Yeah, so basically, I had my transplant at Newcastle Freeman Hospital. I was one of those patients who put the hospital on the map 
for in the terms of cardiothoracics and transplantation and it's the <clears throat> transplant system just went up from there really and you know I'm one of those priorities that I would get in contact with me if they need to push that little bit button or do an appeal for a child or make sure a transplantation is known within the northeast and the world Kelly yes I know. <laughs> you know, it, it, it scares me. It absolutely terrifies me. But, you know, to be the longest surviving baby in the UK and to be third in the world, it's just been, it's phenomenal. And I'm in contact with other transplant recipients all over the world. Oh, yeah. um, Eddie in the USA, who was the first transplant baby in the world, who lives in Las Vegas who I am dying to go and meet and live it up in Las Vegas. Hey, hey. Um, <laughs> you know, be part of that team. Be part of the family. Yeah. It's really important, <clears throat> and you know, today is um, International Women's Day, and it's really important to have a voice, and, and we've we've given a voice today to some women who, who don't like to speak up too much, just like Jules there, our, our last guest. And it's such a, a wonderful platform to share stuff. So you have a platform, Kaylee. Like you said there, you, sometimes they ask you to do some promotion or, or be a part of that. What, what What's your sort of real passion that you love to share? You know, is it is it like you've done the transplant games, you've done so much. Is it trying to uh, inspire others that this is like you can still do all these great things? Yeah, I live life to the full. To the max i do test myself do challenge myself mm -hmm. love a challenge can't get enough of a challenge I and i really thrive on learning and inspiring other people to yeah. talk about organ donation to make sure that they are aware of it and just because they don't think it doesn't happen to them and when it does they need just that encouragement to think about others as well so um that is i can't give that prime example enough and get my word across enough for you to promote organ donation so we, we mentioned it was international women's day and we had we had a quick chat yesterday and i said to you i want to know what choose to challenge means to you and what what you might want to share so you must have that written down in your little book there have you yeah <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, i'm just going to read for a few minutes go for it um Again, I just think it's been in a unique position to promote organ donation and make the public aware of signing up. Obviously, there's the soft opt-out system at the moment that just came in in 2020. It's called Max and Kira's Law. And that is the soft opt-out system where everyone is automatically put into the system to promote organ donation unless you opt out for your reason to promote organ donation so you just need to it's just consent and talk about your wishes share that conversation with your family and friends and tell them what you want that more an organ donation and being a donor is leaving a legacy and look at me and look at other transplant recipients who have survived and who are living proof that transplantation does work yeah 100% you, you mentioned there about soft soft opt in or opt the soft out? opt out soft how, opt out system yes how does that how does it actually work Kaylee? what what does that actually mean so does that mean that you have to opt out and i'm yes. already in now so you're automatically put into the system and then if you go on to the organ donation website there's a link there where you can opt out and ah, give right. you consent so, you know, the days where you used to have to have like a card in your wallet, which was like an organ donor and you'd have to sign the back and it would like, you know, is that all gone now? You just already opted in. You're already into the system. Wow. Yes. So it, it's still, it's still ideally still should need it. Um, yeah. Just in case if you're in an accident and everything else. And again, your driving license, it should be already on there, whether it should be yeah, asked right. the question when you applied. So that's when you give your answer and Again, it's just information, giving your consent to, to say that you're an organ donor and you can, it gives you a list of what you like to donate or what you can't donate and then they'll just go by your next of kin and so on mm -hmm. and so forth. So just it'll follow the link and then obviously if you're in an accident or anything else, 
the doctors or NHS will contact you. Thanks so much for sharing that. It's, it is really important. And I remember, and you you remember the time we had with Carter Cookson, you know, with, with Find a Heart for Carter through the, the Charlie and yeah. Carter Foundation. Yeah. Was very emotive, very, very emotional time to try to find a heart for baby Carter and, and fortunately time. Yeah, I, I was part of that team and I kept Sarah and Chris in the loop as much as I can. And it, it breaks my heart. It absolutely breaks my heart when that child doesn't receive what they need to survive. It, it's just such a difficult subject. And, you know, every time I see Sarah and Chris or any parent who has gone through this this stage in their life that I, I just try and wrap them up in cotton wool and give the support that they need just to get over this hurdle and, you know, survive. Yeah. And there's our Carol there saying everyone should still talk to their families. So I, th I think that's really important, isn't it? You know, to actually share your feelings about organ donation as well. Yeah. We talk about organ donation throughout my family, my friends, for all those who know me. To be honest, I don't really need to say much because they know the title, they know who I am. And they might ask me a few questions here and there, and then they're off the go and they do what they need to do. And because of me or because of other transplant recipients, they sign the register or it could be a member of their family who's had kidney transplant, liver transplant, become a donor themselves, been in the kidney pool, so on and so forth. You know, it's it's a world. It's a different world, but it's a definitely a unique position to be in. It certainly isn't. You know, it is, Kayleigh. I'm so pleased you've joined us today and give us a window into that world and hopefully made people look a bit further into that world and, and look into organ donation and maybe think about it or have a conversation about it, as Carol's just said there, or maybe jump onto that website and, and, and opt in or, you know, tick all the boxes and that kind of thing. So thank you so much. Is there anything else you want to leave us with, Kaylee, before you go? No, that's it. Thank so you very much for having me. So you know I'm going to get the brasso out and a duster and I'm Definitely going to polish that star because I'm accountable, right? And if my son and daughter's watching, we'll do it together. And I will take a video and I will post it. Good. <laughs> right. Uh, oh, Thank uh, you so much. You're welcome. I love Thank you. you I'll me. see you soon. Thank you so much. Thank you to mum as well. You're welcome. Bye -bye. See you soon. Bye-bye now. There's our Kaylee. What a woman. I love her. Thanks so much once again to Kaylee for joining us and for all the work she does to promote organ donation. Right, I'm off now with my Brasso and a Duster and I'm going to get that plaque polished. Thanks for joining us, everyone. Make it a great week. I'm Min Farah. This is the Industry Angel and thanks for listening. <laughs>